Hello everyone, if you're an OET candidate and you're wondering what kind of questions we could get in the OET reading part C, then this is the video for you. It was actually a question asked to me by Deepa, one of my YouTube students. Hello Deepa and thank you for asking that great question. We're going to find out now. Um, my name's Sona and I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET with Bose Learning. So. OET Reading Part C, like all the other OET reading texts, is designed to mimic real life. So Part A, of course, mimics real life when you're checking dosages or medical information with a patient in front of you. Part B is the kind of information you'd be reading when you're checking through your emails for updates, um, reviews, that kind of thing. And Part C are longer texts that you would read as part of your continuing professional development, your CPD in other words. They are longer, as I said, you're going to get two texts this time in reading part C, and they reach about 800 words long. They are semi-academic in tone, and there are eight questions per extract. And each question will give you four multiple choice answers to choose from. A, B, C, D, and you just choose the most appropriate and shade in the circle next to it. So what is reading part C testing you on then? Well, it's actually on your ability to understand inference, attitudes, opinions, and purpose. Maybe these are obvious, they're written in black and white in the text, or perhaps you'll need to read between the lines. Also, they're going to be testing your ability to understand complex language. Don't forget, these texts will be written for a general medical audience. So they're written for everyone, they're accessible, but they may use some kind of idioms, for example, that you're going to need to be able to interpret and understand. What kind of questions may you find then? Let me go through some with you. You could be asked to identify the meaning of a word or a phrase within the text. And they'll always underline this for you and they'll ask you, what does this phrase or word mean? They'll obviously give you the four options as well. You may be asked to identify why the author said something. For example, was it to show his or her agreement or doubt? Did the author feel discouraged or encouraged by a development mentioned? Or perhaps they were dismayed, perhaps they thought it was awful. So why did the author say something? They may ask you to identify the correct summary of a point or a paragraph. For example, what is the point made by the program's launch? So what is the summary? How can you summarise this idea? And then, of course, the question you've all been waiting for, how can you do well? I'm going to give you five easy tips. First of all, read as many of these kinds of texts as you can. They're everywhere. You'll find them in journals. You'll find them in the continuing professional development material that you have to read. Read it in English. Have a look online as well. Make a note of any new vocabulary that you see. So it's a good idea to have some kind of notebook and just make a note so you find something new, you're not sure what it means, find out, write it down. Try and write down your translation in English so you're using English to English translations. And also it's a really great idea as you're reading to practice summarising points or paragraphs in your own words after you've read them. You don't need to write them down but read a paragraph, read a point, and then summarise it in your head. Just try and say it back in your own words. Number four, look for connotation or implication in what's being said. So you read something and you think, okay, what did the author mean? Why have they chosen this word and not this word? And practice identifying keywords in the texts. Have a look at which words you think are essential for conveying meaning. You can also do that in practice questions when you're looking at the sentence stem. Which words are important? If you need more help with this, check out our video on inference. And this is all about reading between the lines and it will give you some skills work and practice as well.
Or if you want further information, why not have a look at our on-demand pre-recorded course on Udemy. We've got several courses on there actually. Um, you can join the 2,500 students who are already part of our Udemy community. Um, we've got one especially on reading and I'm going to put in a discount code for you in the information below. So please check that out if you feel like it. And if you want to keep up to date with all our videos and blogs, why not sign up today for our free newsletter and you'll get a regular dose of all things OET straight to your inbox. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please help me grow this channel. It would mean so much to me if you could pop a little comment in, share it with a friend or colleague and just give it a thumbs up as well. That would be fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.